Hey everybody, it's me Kylie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back and today we're gonna do my Christmas haul. Um, so I'm gonna show you everything that's bookish that I got for Christmas. Um, and then in a separate haul at a different time, I'm going to show you like books that I bought or acquired that weren't gifts. First, from my sister, I got these two beauties, both hardcover. Really awesome. I didn't realize how much of like tomes they were. But yeah, Gentleman Guide to Vice and Virtue. And then the sequel, Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. So these have been on my list. I mean, they're super hyped. So hopefully I'll get to them eventually. If you're interested in buddy reading these with me, check out my um, Twitter below and you can DM me and uh, we can set that up. Thank you so much, Nikki. This year I put, participated in Booktube Secret Santa, um, what was organized by Michaela. Um, I think her channel is just Michaela Reading. And so from my Booktube Secret Santa, I got An Unkindness of Magicians and um, this book I heard about from Chapter Kate's channel and she really raved about it. She loved it. So I'm gonna be checking it out. Yeah, uh, I think she only did about 50 participants into the booktube Secret Santa. So if you're interested in doing a Secret Santa thing like that, just um, watch Twitter next year or go and um, follow it now. She may do it again next year. But yeah, there was a couple different people doing Secret Santas and um, it was really fun. My Santa, um, like props to you, girl, because um, I have no idea who sent me it. So they did a really good job at the secret part. Alex from Alex Black sent me The Unseen World by Liz Moore. And this is one of her um, all time favorite books. And so obviously she wants me to read it. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Uh, thanks so much, Alex. My workplace allows us to choose our Christmas gifts that they've given us. And so um, most of it I spent on my kids uh, for their Christmas gifts, but I had some extra left over. So I splurged and got myself the Luna Chronicles box set, which I'm super pumped about. I've already read Cinder and Scarlet and I'm set to start reading Cress um, next week sometime. So these are really good books and a super hype series and they are um, based on uh, fairy tales, but they're sci-fi, so that's really awesome. Yeah, and so that's what I got for myself from my office. Thank you to my bosses. And I also got um, this one, Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan. And uh, I think I first heard about this book from Talia's channel, uh, Bookish Paradise. And um, yeah, I think it's um, middle grade and it's a Latina and a Latina author. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking it out. For my husband and I gift for each other for Christmas this year, um, we decided to just pick our own gifts and we gave ourselves a budget. So I went to the bookstore and I only let myself choose one book that I'd heard of previously. So um, this is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I heard about this book from Shelby from Watch My What's My Page Again. This is um, one of her favorite series, I think. I'm pretty sure she really loves it. I'm not sure she's gotten through the whole way of it, but yeah, so that's why I wanted to pick this up and get um, started into this series. Then I picked up two books that I never heard of before. So, A Heart in the Body in the World by Deb Coletti and Dread Nation Rise Up by Justina Ireland. I believe that this one is the first in a trilogy, but I don't know and I don't know anything about it and I just read the backs and it just, they um, called to me. so. Those are the ones that I got and I also got, I don't have them with me, but I may put up some pictures. I already posted pictures on Twitter of these little figurines, but I am a super Potter head. I love everything Harry Potter. And when we were out shopping, I saw these new, I mean, I'd never seen them before. They are Funkos, but they're different. They're called vinyl figures. Their faces are not as funko-y. They look more like their characters. Um, so 
this these like open up and then it shows you and the characters come with more than just the character um so i got um hagrid and there's only five in the collection if you can see i got hagrid i got albus and i got ron because i don't have anything of ron yet i all i have other funkos of harry and hermione so um Hagrid came with a little birthday cake that said happy birthday Harry and um, his umbrella wand and Albus came with um, Fox on a little like stand a bird stand and also his wand and Ron came with um, Ron came with a chocolate frog um scabbers and his wand i think so and they are very super cute and i have them at my office and i also bought um two fantastic beasts um um they're like a surprise like you don't know what's going to be in them so i got like a newt and i got a niffler zoe from reader b who's one of my bffs here on booktube she sent me two books she sent me onyx and ivory by mindy arnett which she um, recently read and she also sent me Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I'm not sure if Zoe's read this one yet, but she's a big Marissa Meyer fan. So probably um, Yeah, so both of those I feel like all the books that I got are like so fat that I'm gonna really have to start participating into like those readathons um, That are specifically for tomes like Tom Topple and things like that <laughs> Because yikes. Okay. Thank you so much, Zoe, for those. Um, I also, she also sent me some bookmarks. These are only two of them. Um, we did a buddy read with Shelby and Layla. Um, and we all are fangirls of uh, Sarah J. Mass now from, of the Akatar series. And so she sent me these Akatar inspired um, bookmarks. And so I don't know um, I see if you see this is happening, but I don't know if it's like supposed to happen. I don't. Yeah, um, but that's okay. Shelby from what's my page again. She's one of my friends too. She also sent me this one little keychain. It says, don't let the hard days win. Sarah J. Mass, A Court of Mist and Fury. It's really cute. Is it focusing? It's not really. Thank you so much, Shelby. My friend Debbie, who I work with, is really awesome. And she got me my first ever book sleeve that I've ever gotten. So obviously it's personalized. She got it off of Etsy from a Canadian um, a Canadian company. Oh, it says magically made by V on the inside there. This is really good. Um, it fits, it's huge, it fits. Um, so here's like a, the one I'm currently reading, Air of Fire. It's really big, It's over. it's almost 600 pages. Um, and it fits in there no problem with like a, some space to spare there and I really love it it's so beautiful of course has my name and everything thanks Debbie Debbie also got me I can't show you right now because I'm using it but maybe I'll like take a picture and put it in here it's um this cool thing that like clips to countertops or right now my dresser drawers and then the other end has like a clip like this and I put my phone in it and it holds my phone to the right height while I video. So that's awesome, thanks Debbie. My brother got me this notebook. It says everything starts with a dream and it's a nice leather cover. The cool thing about this notebook, um, it's just regular line pages and as you can see, I already started um, filling it up. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is I can pull this out and take my pages right out so what I can either do is use this cover forever or get a different cover. Yeah, so I can buy more inserts and put it in here. So that's really cool. Thank you so much, Bri. I love it. My parents got me a few things. Um, the most recent thing is the shirt that I'm wearing. My mom just gave it to me today because um, there was a problem and it didn't ship. It shipped really late and it didn't get there in time for Christmas. So, oh well. So, um, I can't remember what it says. Patiently. Oh, I think it says patiently waiting for my Hogwarts letter or something like that. It's going to be one of my new favorite shirts. Fits great. Okay, she also got me in these two tins here. Has anyone heard about <laughs> Cards Against Humanity? Because she got me Cards Against Muggles. So it's like Harry Potter version of Cards Against Humanity. And that's awesome. And I really want to play it. So if you live in Regina, 
and you want to play it, hit me up and we'll have a game night. She got me these cool pens. They're triangle and they say things on them. Like the green one says positive vibes. The pink one says great idea. I've been using them already. So they're nice and soft. I don't know. I like them. I asked for like fancy pens and like fancy notebooks and things. This is definitely one of the best things that I got for Christmas. This is a 2019 weekly planner and it is beautiful. So it has all the months and then it starts weekly here. And each page has a beautiful picture of artwork like that from a Disney movie. And they're not all necessarily um, like actually scenes from the movie. Like this is just artwork that someone painted or drew or whatever. Like it's really gorgeous. I could keep going. Do you want to see all the pages? <laughs> It's so, like, look at that. The glare. It's so beautiful. I can't even. I can't even. Like, I'm never throwing it away. The last thing that my mom got me was the first three books in the Red Rising saga. So, it's a nice, beautiful box set. Super happy about that. Thanks so much, Mom. Message for my friends. Um, I was pretty poor around Christmas. I did send some of you guys gifts. But um, I kept lots of people's um, links to their Amazon accounts. To their wish lists, rather. And um, I'm going to be using those for, like, your birthdays and stuff like that. when Because those are at times of the year when I have more money. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who got me anything for Christmas. I'm really happy with all my gifts. If you're interested in buddy reading any of these books that I shown you today, please send me a message on Twitter or comment below. I would love to buddy read uh, with you. It really motivates me to read. I, I really love buddy reading. I think that's everything. Um, I hope everyone else had a really Merry Christmas. Let me know um, some of your favorite gifts that you received down below in the comments. Like and subscribe to see more from me. And that's all I have for you today. Bye.